Okay, so this video is going to be about the candidates that might run for the Democratic nominee, President nominee in 2020. Let's see. You know, I don't know who's going to be the nominee in 2020. I, I want to know who's going to be the nominee because, you know, I love politics and, I mean, yeah, politics is bad, but still I love all the fighting that's going on, you know, who my side. Sorry, my side, my side does, what my side does is right and what your side does is wrong. You know, that's how politics is. People who are in control, who can do whatever, whatever thing they want because they have that power. And you know, that's what politics is. And, and, and that's why I always, I should think about it. That's what politics is, you know. But anyway, let's see. Oh, let's see. So here we go. The, the person that's already declared his candidacy is the U.S. representative from Maryland, John Delaney. No, John Delaney. I'm sorry, John Delaney. John Delaney. Let's see some stuff about him. John Delaney. He's in a He's been the United States representative from Maryland since Contra. Contra's Oh, shit. I can't say that word. You know. Anyway, let's see. The state's second largest includes the only game player with the public. But. Okay, he's the. The claim he became the first major nom Democrat nominee that now he is run. So he is run for president. <laughs> In 2020, I think he's the first one that's running the others. Well, let's say the others have not declared their candidacy yet. I'm talking about the popular ones like Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden. Let's find out more about John Delaney. And I'll get back to tell you who else is running for the presidency. presidency. Let's see. He has co-founded the two companies, both of which are publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. He has one that earned Ernest Young Inter Oh shit, forgive me, I can't I'll tell you so In nineteen ninety three he co founded healthcare financial financial oh, shit so finite financial finite Oh you know what I mean Thank God I suck. Just anyway, let's get back to this. And I think of healthcare financial partners to make loans available to smaller size healthcare services providers, publicly ignored by larger banks. The HCFP became public in 1996 and becoming became a nice NYSE nice company in 1998. In 2000, Delaney co-founded. Capital Source, a commercial leading headquarters in Chevy Chase, Maryland. Chevy Chase. Oh, love Chevy Chase. The company provided capital to roughly 500, yeah, 500 small and mid-sized businesses before his departure. That's what I'm going to say about him. He is the first candidate to announce his pre presidency. John Delaney. Um, let me see if we get back to the main page. Oh, here we go again. These candidates, they, they have no chance of being at the debates, the primary debates, and the Democratic, you know, debates. And the candidates are Jeff Boss, Harry Braun, Rocky Della. I can't pronounce the last name. Y'all, I'm, I'm stuck at that, you know. Jeffrey Figure, Robbie Wells. Those guys, they don't have no chance. I don't think they have a chance because. They're not going to make it to the debates. They're not going to be top guys in the polls. I just don't think they have a chance. So here's one guy. I know I might get shit on who I want to run. His name is, he's an Asian American. His name is Andrew Yang. Let's find out more about Andrew Yang. He's an American. Inter he's, the, he's the founder of Venture or America. Victor for America, Victor, uh, you know, Victor for America. 
and a 2020 Democratic presidential candidate. He has worked in stand-ups and early stage growth companies as a founder or executive for nearly two decades. He is the author of Smart People Which Should Build Things, published by Harper Collins. And the world normal people about an automation of labor published by okay. Hatchet Book Group. <sighs> Andrew Yang, believe it or not, I want to see him be in the you know the Democratic primaries if he makes the top ten or the, if he's up in the polls. If he's popular, but I just don't think he's going to be the nominee or he be in the polls. Sorry, I'm a little sick, but. I feel like doing this video because I just I didn't want to talk about who would be the Democratic nominee because you know Trump would be the Republican nominee again. Trump's going to run and win the nomination. There's no chance for him for the other Republicans like Rand Paul, Ted Cruz to challenge him. Ain't no way he's going to be the nominee. I don't know if he would be. I don't know if Trump's going to win in 2020 for four more years, but Trump is going to be the nominee. You just know that unless he doesn't get shot or he doesn't die or resign, but. Here are the other candidates that, you know, the popular candidates that that might run. You know, Vice President Joe Biden, Julian Castro, U.S. Secretary of House and uh, the former mayor of Houston, I think was Houston. He was the former mayor. John, the governor of Colorado, Colorado. John Hickenlooper. Hickenlooper. I don't uh, know, you know. Former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holden, former Governor of Massachusetts, no, I, yeah, oh, sorry, former Governor of Massachusetts, De Devil Patrick, John Kerry, you know, the Democratic, the, 2000, the 2004 Democratic nominee, he got beat by Bush, I don't think he have a chance in hell, heck, I'm trying to be nice, Bernie Sanders, who was, you know, got beat by Clinton. I actually want Bernie Sanders to run. I don't, I don't know if I want him to win. I just want him to run again. <sighs> Mayor Eric Garcetti. Eric Garcetti. City from California. Let's see. Candidates. Who might run. I'm not going to say all of them. I'm going to say half of them. Caroline Kennedy, John F. Kennedy's daughter. I would actually want to see her run for some reason. Kamala Harris, John Bell Edwards, Governor Roy Cooper, Governor Roy Cooper of North Carolina. I might want to see him run because he's from North Carolina, you know. Cory Booker, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. I don't know about that, but hey, Kanye West is running. Kanye West is running, so who knows. I don't want to see him win too, I'm just saying. Martin O'Malley, I don't think he's going to have a chance. Tim Ryan, Jeff Merkley, Terry Mc... Orly Leaf, Orly Pump, Amy Clubbuckshire, oh shit, I can't pronounce his name, but yeah. So, I can't wait for the the 2020 president, ele president election. So, I I, I I really want to know who's going to be the Democrat nominee, but we have to wait and see who's going to run. Like, some of those guys, I know that's not going to get the nominee. You know, like, Jeff Boss and all that, they're not going to get it. But Andrew Yang, for some reason, I do want to see him become the nominee or run, but I just don't think he can do it. I also want to see Caroline Kennedy, Bernie Sanders, those people run. If they decide to run, Joe Biden, I don't want to see him run. That's how I'm going to say have, have a good night.